Rita Haney, longtime girlfriend of Dimebag Daryl, has taken to social media to announce for Dimebag's long-standing association with Dean Guitars to be over. As trustee of the estate of Dimebag, Rita Haney has overseen the guitarist's legal affairs since his death on December 8, 2004. Dimebag's longtime association with Dean Guitars started at age 14 when, after winning a guitar competition hosted by Dallas radio station, he was prized with a bright red Dean ML guitar. The son of a country music producer, a 16-year-old Dimebag, along with his brother Vinnie Paul on drums would release their first Pantera album Metal Magic in 1986, alongside bass player Rex Rocker Brown and singer Terry Glaze. The band would go on to release projects in The Jungle and I Am The Night, before bringing in Phil Anselmo on vocals for their last independent release Power Metal in 1988. 1990 would see their major label debut Cowboys From Hell, after which Dine would sign an endorsement deal which would see him through the next two albums' vulgar display of power and far beyond driven. Dean Guitars went out of business soon after and Dime went on to sign a 10-year contract with Washburn Guitars. Dean reopened in 1997. Pantera dissolved in 2003, making way for Dime and Vinny's new band Damage Plan. And after Dime's 10-year deal with Washburn had expired, he then initiated the process to re-sign with Dean on November 11, 2004. Three weeks later on December in a club in Columbus, Ohio, Dimebag was tragically shooed on stage whilst playing in Damage Plan. Four others were killed that night, including crew member Jeff Mayhem Thompson, club employee Aaron Hawk, and fan Nathan Bray. Dean finalized the deal with Dime's estate in his death and produced iconic guitars such as the Razorback, Stealth Floyd FM, and the Dean from Hell NL. Dimebag's passing saw the re-emergence of the guitar hero. He has been ranked 92 in Rolling Stone's list of the top 100 greatest guitarists of all time in 2011 and in 2015 was listed as the most influential metal guitarist in the last 25 years by VH1. At the turn of the century in the midst of new metal's dominance, the guitar solo had all but been removed from heavy music, bands instead opting for low-end, slow-fast riff-heavy songs with the odd pinch harmonic thrown in. Even bands as huge as Metallica had all but eliminated the guitar solo, a complaint made by Kirk Hammett. In the wake of Dine's death and the emergence of the new wave of American heavy metal, bands like Lamb of God, Trivium and Killswitch Engage all brought back the guitar hero on the back of already established guitar legends like Zach Wilde, Ozzy Osbourne, Black Label Society, and Rob Flynn. A lawsuit has been filed by Haney on August 16, 2021, looking to remove Dean Guitar's authority to use Dimebag's name, likeness, and designs on any and all guitars and merchandise. In a statement, Haney has alleged that the new CEO of Dean Guitars, Evan Rubinson, told me that Dime has been dead for 16 years and they could not make the money they once did, so basically he's used up and then continued on to tell me I should go elsewhere. Dean CEO Avon Rubinson replied in a statement, We have always treated Dime and his brother Vinny with the utmost respect and loyalty. We have enjoyed a long-standing 17-year relationship with Dime and Vinny and continue that relationship with Vinny's estate on the drum side. We are shocked and saddened to see the actions that Ms. Haney has taken after both the Abbott brothers have tragically passed away, and we wish her the best in her future endeavors. However, it is unfortunate that Ms. Haney has allowed her unrealistic demands and accusations to dictate the future of the Dimebag legacy in the absence of Dime's immediate family. Dean Guitars is proud to have played a role in ensuring Dime's legacy not only survived, but thrived over the past 17 years. We have stood by the estate through good and bad. Ms. Haney's claims, across the board, are baseless without any merit and not grounded in reality. We will allow the full truth to come out as the legal process takes its course.